It's Mike with Iceberg Gaming here with another Project Zomboid guide for today. This character is unkillable. But this character is also unkillable. These two characters are in very different spots in their quote-unquote lives, and they are unkillable for different reasons, but today I'm going to show you how you can become either way unkillable. You can become like either of these characters, or both. Let's start out with this character. This character has been alive for almost a thousand days, and his skills are completely maxed out. This makes him unkillable in combat. Unless I do something stupid, this character will never die in combat. His high strength and fitness means that he can fight zombies for hours upon hours without getting tired. His maxed out weapon skills guarantee that almost every hit is going to be an instant kill on the zombies. And his high nimble skill means that he can outrun the zombies while backpedaling. There's basically no way this character will die in combat unless I make a big mistake. So in this, like, for example, like firing the, off a shotgun like in the, the middle of the seventh day that I've been fighting, this character with these stats can fight off thousands of zombies at a time and still be fine. You have to be careful, but as long as you don't screw up, you're never going to get eaten. Now, some of you out there might be saying that that is not reasonable. You can't expect me to do that and live that long and get that good skills. Well, I've also got you covered with this character here. This character is also unkillable, even though he doesn't have nearly as good combat stats. This character is unkillable simply for the simple fact that zombies cannot reach him. There's no way a zombie can ever get to him in his base. His base is on the upper level of a building, and the staircase has been knocked out with a sledgehammer. Zombies cannot climb these ropes, so there is no way that they can ever get up to him up on the second floor. And he technically never has to leave his base because we've got a rooftop garden here, and I staggered the crops so that one will be finished every day. And we've also got unlimited water here with all these water barrels plumbed to a sink below. The only time he would ever have to technically leave the rooftop is to refill his generator over here. But even that we've got covered. We've got a gas station walled in with the rest of the base. So these walls will not are not zombie proof, but they do provide a great layer of protection. And we will also know any zombies are in the base. Because the walls will be damaged if they try to get in. I apologize for the storm while I'm filming this. This is a character I'm trying to fill a 100 day challenge in. So I don't want to lose the day by waiting for the storm to end. This character doesn't even really need the electricity since I've staggered the garden. But it's nice to have to keep our goods frozen here and to have light switches, etc. But it's not 100% necessary. So if you can't get this unkillable setup with your gas station, then just settle for the rooftop garden knocked down, uh, staircases knocked down with a sledgehammer. You could also always find a location that the gas station is within the borders of your base. There are a few like that. Check out my series on my channel about the best base locations if you're looking for those locations. I hope these tips were helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. So get out there and make yourself unkillable with either or both of these two methods. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you need help with in Project Zomboid, if there's something you're struggling with, and I might have a guide out already for you. If not, I'll try to get it for you ASAP. Thanks for watching. See you next time.